Hello children, welcome to 7th Science Online Classes. As per the part of uh, revision, today we will discuss two chapters. First we will discuss chapter 11, Transportation in Animals and Plants. So two important transportation system in animals and plants. And first one is circulatory system and second one is excretory system. The circulatory system and excretory system are the important transportation in animals. Okay, we will see, revise that thing. First, we will revise circulatory system. Circulatory system, network of transport system in human beings for the supply of food, water, oxygen and other substances throughout the body. So these are the essential things for our body, food, water, oxygen and some other uh, substances. So these substances transport all of our body through some, uh, uh, through some system. That system is called circulatory system. And uh, the important parts of that circulatory system are blood blood vessels heart so these three points very important circulatory system just to connect with these three blood blood vessels heart then first we will see blood the main components of blood are plasma red blood cells uh, short we can uh, say it as rbc and what is the function of rbc it carries oxygen rbc carries oxygen Next one, white blood cells or WBC. Function of WBC is fight again, fight against germs. Then platelets. Platelets function is it help in clotting of blood. Okay, so very important, very very important. So for see the uh, main components of blood and their function. Plasma. Plasma means that is the liquid part in the blood, that is plasma. And RBC, it carries oxygen. WBC, fight against germs. And platelets, clotting of blood. Next, blood is red due to the presence of a red pigment, hemoglobin, which binds with oxygen and transport oxygen to various parts. Okay, so because of the redness of the blood, this is the hemoglobin. This uh, hemoglobin causes the color hemoglobin. H A E M O G L O B I N. Hemoglobin. Okay. The circulatory system consists of three important parts blood, blood vessels, and heart. So, blood over. Next, we will see blood vessels. Blood vessels are mainly two types arteries and veins. Arteries. These blood vessels carry blood from the heart. Just to see that point, uh, blood vessels carry blood from the heart. From the heart that contains oxygen into different parts of the body. Okay, so that is arteries. Arteries carry blood from heart to other part of body. So that contain oxygen rich blood, pure, pure blood, oxygen rich blood. Okay, then next is veins. These blood vessels carry blood that is rich in carbon dioxide from the body organs to the heart. They just reverse, okay, from other body parts to heart, that is veins. And that contains carbon dioxide rich blood. So very important, this uh, differences of arteries and veins. And we uh, studied many differences of arteries and veins, but I just uh, take this point only. But uh, you can read that also, what are the differences of arteries and veins, many differences I uh, you studied, okay. So this is the main difference, arteries carry oxygen rich blood, veins carry carbon dioxide rich blood, arteries, heart blood uh, go from heart to other parts of body, but veins other parts to the heart, that is the main difference. Next is heart, heart is an organ present in our body that pumps the blood in the blood vessels. It is located in the chest cavity. The heart is divided into four chambers. 
which are the four chambers the atria upper chambers are called atria that contain blood with no oxygen and the ventricles or the lower chambers of the heart contain oxygen rich blood okay so heart uh, consists of or it is divided into four chambers four rooms so upper rooms or upper uh, chambers are called atria and uh, lower chambers are called ventricles atria with contain with no oxygen blood contain no oxygen but uh, ventricles that is oxygen rich blood and we already studied the mechanism of heart heart uh, in very detail okay so you can read that part or you can watch that video but here i just given the main points only because we just revise the chapter this is the revision part so we just just to revise this thing but you can when you are studying you can uh, read the textbook or uh, notebook and uh, if you have any doubt you can uh, watch that videos okay next point the rhythmic contraction and relaxation of the heart is called a heart beat the stethoscope is an instrument that is used to listen to the heart beat of a person that you already know what is that uh, instrument stethoscope but you just uh, see the spelling s t e t h o s c o p e stethoscope and heart beat means the rhythmic contraction and relaxation when you feel you can feel that uh, uh, heart beat okay so you can feel that contraction and relaxation of heart that is called heart beat okay the next uh, system so circulatory system that is also one uh, type of transportation system in our body and next is excretory system okay we'll see what is it removal of waste materials from the body is called excretion removal of waste materials humans excretory system consists of two kidneys see here in the picture two kidneys two ureters see here two ureters a urinary bladder and urethra okay so these are the main important uh, parts of excretory system so uh, this thing also you can uh, draw and study this label labeling also very important so two kidneys two ureters one urinary bladder and urethra okay and here one opening is here next salts and urea are removed along with water as sweat so our uh, urine contains the waste material is urine and that urine the main content is water and uh, other materials also and one part is called urea okay so some salts also there so that salts and urea are removed along with water as sweat our sweat that's also contain salts and urea next fish excrete waste substances such as ammonia which directly dissolve in water so their uh, waste substances ammonia they eliminate waste uh, like ammonia okay so that ammonia directly dissolve in water from their body and birds insects and lizards excrete uric acid in semi solid form so their waste material that is uh, it is called uric acid and that is in a semi solid form so that is the excretory system of uh, human and some other animals next we will revise the transportation system in plants water and minerals nutrients are absorbed by roots of plants from the soil so that we already know that roots are uh, roots absorbed uh, water and mineral nutrients from soil nutrients are transported along with water to the entire plant via the vascular tissue called xylem okay so nutrients so the, uh, using that nutrients and water leaves are preparing food okay so for preparing the food they uh, have to uh, take all the things to the to leaves so that vascular tissue or that pipe or that vessel is called xylem 
the vascular tissue for the transport of food to the various part of the plant is phloem and after making the food uh, leaves are prepared food and that food is uh, transported to all part of the plant parts by uh, phloem okay so vascular tissue two types of vascular tissues are there very important xylem and phloem xylem transport uh, nutrients and water uh, for preparing the food but phloem uh, uh, phloem uh, transport food to the various parts of plant that is the main difference of xylem and phloem then a lot of water is lost by plants in the form of vapor through stomata during transpiration so what is transpiration transpiration is same like evaporation evaporation means when you are keeping some water outside that uh, in the because of the sunlight or uh, it evap it evaporate okay so that process is evaporation the same thing in plants we can call it as transpiration so a lot of water lost by plants in the form of vapor through stomata during transpiration and transpiration generates a force which pulls up water absorbed by the roots from the soil to reach the stem and leaves so this is the advantage of transpiration what is the advantage so when transpiration occurs in the leaves so that time it uh, there is uh, generates a force okay that is an upward force uh, transpiration so that force pulls uh, water from the soil so root can absorb water very well because of the upward pull of this transpiration okay so that is the advantage of transpiration and uh, uh, we just revised that first chapter okay uh, uh, chapter 11 now we will see the next chapter also so next chapter chapter 13 motion and time so in this chapter first we will re just revise speed what is speed speed the distance covered by an object in a unit time that is called speed the distance covered by an object in unit time speed can be defined as total distance total distance covered divided by the total time taken distance upon time distance by time speed equals total distance covered by total time taken so children so from this uh, equ uh, this formula speed equals distance by time from this we can calculate distance also or we can calculate time also that we uh, did many problems okay or numericals uh, so uh, revise that also and when you are getting any uh, numerical in your exam first you write the equation or which for equation or which formula you want to right first write that one then uh, give, uh, substitute all the values in that that formula okay it's very easy so uh, don't forget to write the formula in your when you are writing the exam so that is speed speed equals distance upon time distance by time okay so two types of speed we discussed uniform speed and non uniform speed what is uniform speed the speed of an object moving along a straight line that does not change or remains constant the same speed an object is moving along a straight line without any change of its speed same speed that is called uniform speed and what is non uniform speed just opposite of uniform speed yes the speed of an object moving along a straight line that keeps changing changing okay keeps on changing that type of speed is called non uniform speed next is time the formula for calculating time is given by time equals distance traveled by speed distance upon speed so i given one uh, triangle you remember that one so when you you can take your notebook you can you, you can get it okay how you can calculate speed how you can calculate time how you can calculate distance using that triangle so it is that is very easy 
so time equals distance upon speed and the next is a symbol pendulum symbol pendulum has periodic motion you remember that symbol pendulum okay is moving like that up and to and fro motion that is the period uh, symbol pendulum and symbol pendulum has periodic motion and uh, uh, time period what is time period the time taken by the pendulum to complete one oscillation so one oscillation means if it is start from here moving from here to this side and this side that is one oscillation okay from uh, one side to here then here that is one oscillation and that time is called time period okay so don't write period only time period the time taken by the pendulum to complete one oscillation and uh, bob what is bob a small metallic ball or a piece of stone in a symbol pendulum suspended from a rigid stand by a thread so uh, when a thread that is attached or fixed with a, a metallic ball that that ball is called bob and one oscillation one complete cycle of swinging one way and then returning to its original starting position that is one oscillation one oscillation means from starting from a go to b coming back to a that is one oscillation and the time taken for one oscillation is called time period for example the to and fro motion of a symbol pendulum is a periodic or an oscillatory motion so periodic motion or we can call it as oscillatory motion next is units of speed and time first time the basic unit of time is second the basic unit of time is second it is represented by symbol small letter s other larger units of time are minutes and hours okay and speed speed we know uh, we know the speed is distance upon time or distance by time so the basic unit of speed is, speed is what is the uh, basic unit of distance meter and what is the basic unit of time second so meter per second it can also expressed in other units such as meter per minute or kilometer per hour so when you are uh, numericals also that time also you sometime you have to convert uh, meter to kilometer sometime or uh, a second to minute or hours to uh, uh, second like that so that conversion everything we already studied so uh, take that numericals and just uh, see once again and if you have any doubt you can uh, see that uh, video or you can call me okay so that is uh speed the unit of speed is meter per second next is measuring speed speedometer it measures the speed directly in kilometer per hour so that is speedometer that is used in the car okay car or vehicles sorry uh, speedometer is used in the vehicles so vehicles uh, the uh, speed not in uh, meter per second or like that it is kilometer per hour because that vehicle is uh, running very long distance so that long distance we can call it take it as kilometer and hours okay so kilometer per hour and odometer another meter that me measures the distance moved by the vehicle distance moved by the vehicle so that is odometer next is distance time graph motion of objects can be presented in pictorial form by their distance time graph so we already studied what is motion okay so the motion we can represent uh, through a picture and that is called a graph the distance time graph for the motion of an object moving with a constant speed it is a straight line so here when an object is moving in a uniform speed okay that time we will get the line like this a straight line so here two axis when you are drawing a distance time graph it's uh, having two axis x axis and y axis 
x i x axis having time and y axis having distance and one object is moving in a uniform speed we get a straight line and one object is not moving or in the rest position we get a uh, line that is parallel to the x axis that is parallel to the x axis okay that also we already studied that but you just revise it we just revised that part also and uh, uh, all of you study very well read the textbook and the notebook then if you have any uh, any doubts you can watch that videos okay that particular videos and or you can call to me okay children so all the best for your exam and thank you